Don't look towards Snapchat for original content. The social media site is shutting down its in-house Snap channel. So joining us now to explain this, Dan Costa. He's the editor-in-chief of PCMag.com. Dan, I mean, first of all, let's get this straight. It's been less than a year, right, since Snapchat started producing, making its own videos, its own shows. So why give up on it so soon, this, this whole avenue for original content? Yeah, it hasn't been long, but things move pretty fast in the tech space. Remember, Snapchat has only been around for about four years. So the company's moving very quickly. They bet on original content. They lured some executives away from Fox Comedy. They had a pretty good game plan. But uh, I think what they want to do is really refocus on the network. Um, I think they found out what a lot of tech companies do, which is that creating high-quality original content is really difficult to do. It's also pretty expensive. So, so how is this overall, Dan, going to affect Snapchat? Will users get less value from the service? I mean, it seems like they're taking away an avenue. It is do they get one more channel. value? I mean, what, what's, what's the point here? Yeah, they're basically, they're taking away one channel out of 15. They've got 15 other content providers from ESPN to Comedy Central to Vice um, that are, de and they've got a lined up people, a number of publishers that are trying to get on their platform. So I don't think there's gonna be any shortage of content. Um, I think that they, what they should do is let the content creation, leave it to the professionals, work on the platform, be there for them. And um, I don't think there's gonna be any shortage of people trying to get on that network. Uh, they're serving up four billion videos a day, uh, every day to their 200 million users. So there's, a, there's still a huge, huge network there to be taken advantage of. All right, I mean, it seems like in some small way or maybe even a larger one the move that it really just underscores this challenge of luring new customers with original content on the one hand you've got Netflix and Amazon pouring all kinds of money into that so so how can a company win when Netflix Hulu these guys are making their own original content spending that kind of money are they or aren't they at a competitive disadvantage yeah, it really creates, I see two different tiers of companies here. One are the traditional video streaming companies, the Netflix, the Amazons, Hulus, that are sort of employing a more traditional studio model, and they've had a lot of success creating original content at very high production values for marquee reasons. They win awards with it. But then on the flip side, you look at these social networks. You look at Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat. They're great platforms, and as long as they remain viable platforms, there's going to be media partners that are desperate to play on those platforms. I think they're probably better off focusing, sticking to their knitting, focusing on the technology, and making sure that platform is vibrant. Believe me, the media companies are going to be lined up to get on this platform. So it's all about distribution, at least for guys like Snapchat, Dan. Thank you so much for joining us here. That's Dan Costa, editor-in-chief of PCMag.com. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.